Hurt somebody. She didn't think that was funny. Kurt graduated from college, took the exams for medical school, and whoosh, wasn't accepted. Stay focused on the goal, Kurt. He was in the Army, and several years later took those exams again. And whoosh, he wasn't accepted. The Persian Gulf War called, Kurt went to serve. And 18 months later, he was home on leave, but not vacation. He was up in his bedroom, studying for those exams. I went up to talk to Kurt, and in that bedroom is a shelf. And you may have shelves like this in some of your bedrooms. His old baseball trophies, his catcher's mat. And this, this old tattered baseball with a hole in it, the one we practiced with so many years ago. I put it on his desk. Keep your eye on the ball, Kurt. And this time, life pitched our son. A 33-year-old Army captain, a fastball right down the middle, and he swung and cracked medical school. University of Texas at San Antonio. Wow! We were so proud. Four years later, we graduated. He was the oldest person in his class. He's also the class president. And after medical school, a five-year general surgery residency followed by a two-year fellowship in trauma and critical care surgery. That's 11 years. It's not always easy to reach your goals, is it? Today, this May 30th, he is stationed in Asalabad, Afghanistan as a lieutenant colonel. And every day he serves his country as a trauma and critical care surgeon. That's Kurt's story. Earlier, I asked you to hold the thought. What are your goals? Stay focused on those goals, work hard, and take a swing at them. And whoosh, you may not make it. But stay focused on the goal. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself off. Keep trying. And one day you'll hear it. There'll be the crack of success when you reach your goal. Keep your eye on the ball.